All right, we just finished the 600 mile trip over here to uh, Larry's place. And um, I've got here, we used the 18 plate smack shrink wrapped for, for the uh, test run. Okay, I started my cold draw current at about 5 amps, little, just a hair over 5 amps, like 5.1, 5.2 amps. Okay, drove over 600 miles. Uh, for a total tr uh, trip time of 11 hours, okay, so I mean, we stopped, uh, I've got a GPS unit in my car that keeps track of how long we stopped and how long we were actually in motion. So for a 12-hour trip, we were stopped for a total of one hour, okay, so that's 11 straight hours of running time with almost no cool down, okay. So we started out at 5 amps. When I pulled in the dooryard here last night, I threw uh, my ammeter on the unit and was amazed, okay, it was fully heated up, amazed to find a 12 amp current draw. You remember last time in my booster uh, videos that I was drawing like 25 to 30 amps after just a few hours at the beginning of the trip, okay. I kept tabs um, using my, my little uh, <clears throat> ammeter here next to the radiator. And I noticed, and I wasn't sure, I thought maybe the gauge was lying to me, that it looked like I was running like about 15 amps or so. So when I finally got here, I threw my ammeter on there and verified my little, uh, my little dial amp in the car is working just fine. And I was amazed. I mean, absorb this. We're talking a delta amps of six. Starting out at 5, ending at 12 or so, 6, 7 amps. I mean, that's unheard of with the smack design. So, the combination of adding the extra plate on the outsides, okay, and shrink wrapping the entire cell like this, has had the effect of effectively dropping my delta by almost 20 amps. Okay, it's, it's unheard of. I've never had a cell perform like this before. Okay, so... <clears throat> Very encouraging, you replicators out there, be shrink wrapping your cells. Okay, you're asking, a lot of you guys are asking me, what's this shrink wrap? It's a poly shrink wrap, heat shrink. Um, McMaster Car sells it. It's a um, four inch unshrunk to uh, two inch shrunk. Okay, so it fits nicely around the cell stack. I heat it with a blowtorch. I'm going to show that in the, uh, in the um, seminar that I'm going to do on Saturday. Okay. And then the other thing I want to discuss, um, first of all, I mean, the condition of the booster, you see from my last video, I mean, it's still, uh, the glass is still, you know, crystal clear. Check that out, okay? And the new design bubbler with the rubber caps, see that? Um, not leaking, holding up awesome, okay? So this bubbler is superior, no more tapping, okay? It's an awesome design that holds up real well. But, okay, <clears throat> here's what I really want to show you. See the water level? Look at that, okay? That's the water level. I just pulled the thing out, okay? That's the water level. I have not refilled the booster once. I showed you guys uh, my little refill system here. I got the, the washer reservoir with the pump, okay? And that the output of the reservoir is hooked to this check valve right here, okay? And you remember from my last video that uh, cool down causes a slight vacuum within the chamber as the gas above the water level cools it begins to contract and creates a vacuum well guess what the vacuum draws in water past this check valve the distilled water from the tank okay and through this check valve and actually refills the booster i didn't have to hit the switch at all during the 10 hours you remember from uh... The last video um, i was having to refill every couple hours not once did I have to refill this. Every time we stopped for gas or whatever, the unit would cool down a little bit, drawing more water, and we watched the level in the tank go down. You know, it's a, it's a clear tank here, and we can see down in there, we can see the water level. I don't know if you can see it here. Okay, we watched it. It was full all the way to the top, and now it's down to here. It was drawn in water. It's, I mean, so there's an unexpected added benefit I basically now have myself an auto refill system. Very easy to replicate. Take advantage of the characteristics of the cell. Take advantage of physics. 
PV equals NRT. Let that equation pull in your water for you. Um, the, you know what? This booster on this trip was basically maintenance free. I mean, I didn't. I never even had to pop the hood. I, I could have just left the hood closed the whole trip. Um, basically, all, all I had to do was look at the thing. It refilled itself. It managed its current um, better than any of the previous units that I've used. So, great results. Um, you guys who are familiar with this design and know its characteristics should be stoked right now about the, the uh, small delta current and the auto refilling. So, all right, so get out there, smack your rigs. Um, this is a good place to start, okay? And uh, I'll let you know of any further developments uh, on the return trip back home.